I was looking through your, your your projects list and your resume, and it's it's rather diverse and impressive. You've got a, a lot of things going on in there. You're a rather busy man. And I was thinking the, the difference in, in the style between the likes of, of Nile and Nightfall and, and even Terra are quite sort of pronounced. I was wondering, is, is it always a very conscious thing to bring in different influences when you're playing these with these different styles, or do you just sort of follow the music? That's a, that's a good question because, you know, as a drummer, back in the days, I mean, 20 years ago, for example, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm 37 now, but you know I started like really, really young uh, with drums. 20 years ago, I used to play for the drummer. You know, you compose something, and you, you know, you look how difficult you can play, and you know, like play the best parts or you know whatever. But yeah, yeah. Uh, nowadays, my uh, my greatest moments is like you know when when I do because I do a lot of session as works as well. Mm -hmm. So there's several bands like coming to me and be like, hey, we want you to record blah blah blah. And I really enjoy when I do different style bands. And the only thing I'm thinking is like, okay, you got to play hard rock, you got to play black metal, you got to play death metal, you know whatever whatever it is. My goal is to try to sound as a good drummer for you know that particular style. People know know me mostly you know because of Nile like you know the super extreme stuff which we mm -hmm. do and you know we love to do i have this desire you know to play like to be like a more all-around drummer and play like different styles and actually i do that a lot i do like five to six albums per year you know for other bands so yeah it's cool it's fun yeah. it's a lot of fun yeah well it's how you get the most out of your instrument if you if you love playing it you want to play in as many different ways and as many different styles as you can exactly exactly and that's what i say to my students i'm like man you gotta listen to pop music <laughs> They're like, you know, they laugh at first. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm serious, man. This is like, it's a job. It's, you know, it's groove and it's time. And, you know, there's, you don't have to do, you, know, you can't do mistakes. You know, when you play to a uh, hundred thousand people, you know, you got to yeah. be like super, super like solid. Each style, I think, has some fun moments and some really difficult moments, you know. Yeah. And I should tell people at this point that you can be found at georgecolias.com. Exactly. Yeah. Am I pronouncing your name right? Basically, it's Colias, but uh, here in the States, especially in the States, everybody calls me Colias, so <laughs> I'm used to it. It's, it's no problem. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll say it in Australian, georgecolias.com. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you are yep. George Colias official on Facebook as well. Yes, yes, which I manage a page and I, I post everything there. Uh, my email is available, you know, on the Facebook and uh, website as well. So whoever wants to get in touch, they always can. Is there anything without, you know, seeing people face to face just that you can say to drummers that you would, if someone asked for some advice as a drummer, what would you tell them? Well, the advice is very, very simple. And this is why I, what I always say. If you really like this instrument, you're going to be the best. All you have to do is enjoy it. Okay. Because I hear people saying like, yeah, I worked hard and I sacrificed so many years of my life. And I never actually, I read this all in all interviews, you know, from uh, famous musicians. I'm like, you sacrificed 10 years of your life or 30 years of your life. Do what? Like having fun? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, you know? So if you really like it, you would, you, you know, one day you will be the best. It's very simple. I'm still sort of interested in, in your formative years and, and how you sort of got started. And I was wondering what the, the scene was like out there in, in Greece when you were sort of growing up. How was the, the going out to see metal bands and the like? Uh, was, was there anything interesting happening in the area? In, in my area, uh, there was one drummer and one death metal band or thrust <laughs> metal band. That was me and my band. <laughs> <laughs> you were the scene. Like, like seriously, the first 10 years I grew up, or let's say the first seven years as a drummer, I had I had no drummer friends. Like I didn't know any other drummers in, in my area. So it was uh, pretty sad. But, you know, the Greek scene, we we had a few bands. We used to have Rotten Christ, Nightfall, Septic Flesh. These were the three best Greek metal bands. Mm -hmm. And today it's pretty much the same story, <laughs> right? Oh. You know, Septic Flesh, Rotten Christ is super active and yeah. Nightfall as well. I was a member. You know, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean... We, it's, it wasn't like as good as it is today, you know, with more better bands and more different style bands, you know, more variety. I was looking at the best, you know, try to one day be like them, you know, Rodney Christ, Nightfall, all these bands. Uh, and yeah, it was great. It was sure. great. I, I mean, I, I got so many great memories. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking right now. And <laughs> Just there were some other killer bands that never made it. Uh, one was, uh, they, were, they used to call it uh, Epidemic. Mm-hmm was another one septicemia like killer bands killer bands like great musicians the septicemia drummer he's he was one of my biggest influences great drummer you know too sad you know they never made it but you know still we mm. still have some bands from back then and uh, very proud to you know i played with most of them 
because I recently played with Ronnie Christ as well as a guest for uh, one track. Oh, that's brilliant. In, uh, one of the shows. Yeah. Well, having, like you mentioned, you've got a, a sneak peek of the solo album up online and I haven't actually heard it yet, but what style is, is your solo music in? It's extreme death metal with a, a little bit melodic sometimes, you mm. know. I would say in between black metal and death metal or something. The plan was, the first plan was to record an album and go really nuts with the drums. Like, you know, play the, <laughs> the most difficult stuff, blah, blah, blah. But uh, every time I was finishing a song, you know, and writing the guitar parts and stuff, I was focusing more on the songs and more and more and more, you know. I mean, the album has some of the best drumming I ever did, you know, death metal-wise, but it, it's still all about the music and all about the songs. Right. It's and not about drums. The fun part's going to be seeing you do your solo music, <laughs> solo on stage, playing all the instruments. And sing. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened, I, uh, I would love actually to get a guitar and sing maybe. Right. That'll be fun. I was going to ask, is there a thought of actually getting some other musicians in and doing any shows for the solo album? It is a thought, and I got some of them, you know, waiting actually right now. Waiting. I mean, <laughs> they, they, they confirmed to do that. You know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm really focused on uh, Nile and what we did with Nile. So, hmm. I mean, I, w- I wish we had like 48 hours a day, you know, like so I, uh, I could manage everything. But, uh, yeah, right now it's, uh, it's all about Nile and stuff. So if I ever find some time, I would love to do that, though. But right. well, from listening to you speak and to talk about drumming and your clinics and that, I think anyone who aspires to be a drummer or who enjoys good music and drumming would be a fool to miss out on your drum clinics when you do come to Australia in March. Yeah, sounds that'll to be me, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it sounds to me like you actually give a lot more than just being there and saying this is how you play drums. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm really trying. Yeah. It has been absolutely brilliant talking to you. Thanks I, so much. Same here. I will tell people again that you are georgecolias.com or George. Awesome. George Class Official on Facebook, and people can go to Nile Catacombs on Facebook to see your band, Nile, or find out more about it. Awesome. Thank you very much. You have been really Cheers. good to talk to. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you in Australia. Okay. See you very soon. Thank you. Bye. Take care, George. Cheers. Bye-bye.